Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look for you all featuring the Juvia Wahala 2 palette. I'm actually excited about this. Wahala, no Wahala, no problems. Um, so I'm excited to actually share with you all something brighter, something fun. This palette has the most beautiful colors. Um, my camera is probably not going to do it any justice. I had to stand up. Okay, this is perfect. You guys, these colors are amazing. So it has glitter, it has shimmer, it has matte. For today, I'm going to be focusing with just, I'm just going to be working with the matte colors, but this is going to be one of my favorite palettes. All right, so what I just did was I used some of my Laura Mercier powder in order to just protect my skin because I already did my base. If you were interested in seeing how I prep my skin for eyeshadow looks, let me know. So I'm using the Laura Mercier powder to catch any fallout. And now I am going to prime my eyes. I am using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I don't know why I said Lorac so strongly. But yes, that is the primer that I'll be using today. It's not my favorite, but unfortunately, it's actually the only eye primer, eyeshadow primer, that I have in the house. Like, But that's how you know I haven't done makeup um, in a while. So I need to get a new eye primer. But this is what we're gonna use today. I'm just gonna set um, my eye primer with some translucent powder because I feel like this is gonna be a hot mess if I don't set it. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go in with the color ASAP. Um, I don't want to get too close to my camera because it kind of makes the screen go. Um, black and I don't want to be too dark but I'm starting with this color it's called ASAP and I am using the Sonia Kushak I think I'm saying her name right brush it's the medium eyeshadow brush what I am going to do is I'm going to pack this in my crease please don't get on my clothes Ooh, do y'all see that do y'all can you see that do you see that color? Oh my lord. Oh my Lanza. Come on camera, don't do this to me. Wow. Oh my god. Please tell me you guys can see this. Do I need to come up closer? Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wowzas. This is wow. <laughs> This is wow, 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 wow. Okay, um, I got my color on. Just wanna pack it on there well before I blend it out. This is like really pigmented. Like, oh my God, I sound like I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> it's pigmented. <laughs> All right, so to blend this out, I am going to use the color, I'm gonna use Lit which is right here. Again, I don't want to get too close because it kind of messes up the focus, but I'm going to be using the color Lit to blend out this um, beautiful color. And I am using the Sonia Kushek brush in the tapered crease. Do I want to use this? Nah. I'm going to use my blending crease brush. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, and I'm just doing this so that the color is not too harsh. Oh, even this is like pigmented. Wow, this is this these colors. Usually, colors this light don't show up on my skin. I'm not that dark, but wow, this is actually this is really amazing. Like this is my first time using this palette. Sorry, you guys, I know it's a little late. This is my first time using this palette and it is just so beautiful. I I I just don't know. It's it's oh my gosh. Hmm. Juvia's palette. 10 over 10, honey. 10 over 10. This is amazing. Like And the reason I'm blending this out is because you don't want any harsh lines. So I'm just going back in and like blending everything out to make it seamless. Um, you don't want to be walking around looking like you did a bad cut crease. And I don't do cut crease, so I can't tell you how that's done. But that's just what I think it's going to look like, a bad cut crease. So 
In order to prevent that, you want to blend. Your arms start hurting, take a break and get back to blending. No, seriously, blend. All right, to intensify the corner of my eye a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with one of the purples. It's right up here, it's called Dream. And I'm putting it just using that crease brush, I'm putting it just right here at the corner of my eye, just to make it a little more intense. Um, I'm gonna feather it out a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it in. And I'm looking down just so it can help me get above my crease. Can you blend everything? These colors are just amazing. I am just, I'm really blown away. I am no makeup artist. I am just, but anybody would be able to look at this and be like, this is amazing. Like the colors are immaculate. Immaculate. <laughs> That's actually my godmother's name. Speaking of, I need to call her. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Oof. Okay, I think we're okay. Um, I'm not using too many colors. This is really going to be short and simple. Um, but yes, I think we're okay here. I think I might put some of the, these colors are just amazing and makes you want to play in the palette. I'm going to put some of this color. It's called Wasted right here. It looks yellow, but it's actually like an orangey color. I'm going to put some right above like right below my brow bone. And I wanna use a smaller brush to do that. So I'm gonna use a flat, let me use a flat fluffy brush. So I'm gonna use this flat one. This is also from BH Cosmetics. It's the number eight in like the iridescent brushes. We got this for free, so hey, it was free, I'm gonna use it. So right up here, I'm just gonna Put this color in. It's giving like a um a gradient effect. Ooh! SAT's wet. <laughs> She's smart, okay? She's smart. Gradient. Yo, I haven't had my eyebrows done in like two years. It's it's actually ridiculous, but I love it. Like, I hate the fact that like at my brow bone, I have some like stray hairs that I probably should take care of. But I actually appreciate like how wild and free my brows are. Juvia's Place. A plus, 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 plus. A plus, plus. These colors are freaking crazy like i just put that orange and i didn't even put a lot and it's there i hope you guys can see this like i really really hope you guys can see all this beauty oh gosh um i'm blending again again i want everything to be seamless we don't want any harsh lines so we are going to blend everything together so we do have our gradient effect All right, looking good, looking good. I see you. If you do this look, give me a shout out on Instagram. All right, so for my lid, there's so many colors. Wow. I think I'm going to use Jealous. It's right here at the bottom. You can't really see it too well. I'm going to use Jealous. I might throw in a little Lust, okay? Mmm, Juvia's Palace. Juvia's Place, I said Palace, Lord. This is not a Nigerian movie, girl, calm down. <clears throat> All right, so I'm putting, what, I fit, what, I, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put Jealous on my lid, and then I'm gonna put Lust on top of it and pull it up towards my crease. Ew! Mm. 
look at look, look do you see this color? Do you do you see this color? Do you, do you see this? Oh sweet baby Jesus, okay? Call his name. Call him. Call him. Oh my god. Do y'all see this? And I know you're supposed to pack the color on, but I actually like, like, packing and pull. Packing and pull. I don't like just, like, pack, 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 pack. Because I feel like it's a lot, and I usually have fallout, so I'm packing and pulling. You can try that. So, you guys, I have the COVID, vi um, COVID virus, and I am currently, well, not currently, but I am no longer sick. I tested negative. I have the antibodies, but I'm still having a bit of drainage. So, if you hear me, like, it's because it's draining and it's quite disgusting. So forgive me for that. All right, so I'm going in with the Lust color. And like I said, I'm going to put it over Jealous and then I'm going to pull it up. So again, I really want that gradient effect. That's why I decided to like put it over and take it upwards towards where I have that purple. And gradient effect is what you're going to get, sweetie, okay? It's what you're going to get. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God, this color. I just don't know. I really made a good decision getting this palette. Because I really wasn't going to get it at first. But then something said, just go for it. And I went for it, and now I'm just like yourself on the back because you did a good job and can I get an applause please Games. all right so we are done packing in the color as you can see I am going to go back in with my first brush and just a little bit of ASAP just 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 a smidget tap 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 and then we're going to go right above where we put Lust, okay, right there. We're just blending because we don't want what? No harsh lines. Repeat it on the other side because you want it to look, well, you can't really be symmetrical because the body's not symmetrical, but you want it to look close. So, you take that there, we pull it up. You can look down if you want. You can look up, whatever helps you. If it's too big, take your crease brush. And go in. You ain't even got to put nothing on here. Go in with a clean crease brush. And just blend everything out. Swish, swish, swish. You want the windshield motion. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Mr. Miyagi would be proud. Okay. And if it looks like you took a bit of your color out, instead of using the brush... Take your finger and pack it on there. So, like right here, this is love, this is jealous. Pack it just on the lid, just on the lid. Nowhere else. If you lost some color, only if you lost some color. Oh my god. Whew. I'm not even gonna put eyeliner over this because that'd be disrespectful. <laughs> Go in with the same finger. Pick up some lust. Don't jealous me. And put it right there also. Pack it. This is only if you lost color. You don't have to do this if you did not lose any color. I lost a little bit of color. So I'm going back in. And honey. Who gonna check me? Who? Mm -mm. All right, using, should I go in with the same brush? I'm going to go in with something a little smaller but still fluffy for my waterline or the bottom of my eye, whatever y'all call that. I'm not a makeup artist, but yeah, you know that bottom part right here? We're going to go in with our double brush. This is from Anastasia Beverly. It came in an eyeshadow. 
I hated the eyeshadow, but I liked the brush, so I kept the brush. We're going to pick up ASAP. We're going to go in the order that we picked up all our colors. ASAP, you want to take some of it off. And start right here and pull it in. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do ASAP out here. And then I'm going to do Lust and Jealous. Um, right where, what do you call this? I don't know what this part is called, but right there. Repeat on the other side. Y'all, COVID was no joke, okay? Your girl was down. Your girl was down. But I serve a living God. So guess what? As I was going down, he was there picking me up. And won't he do it? Yes, he shall. Okay, blend it, blend it, blend it. We're going to take up, we're, I said take up, we're, <laughs> we're going to pick up some of the lit to blend it out a little bit, just like we did up at the top. So basically what you're doing is just using all the same colors at the bottom. You don't want to leave the bottom of your eye like blank and just lonely and I don't know. By doing the bottom of your eye, it makes the entire look amazing. I learned this from Jackie. Jackie! Jackie, Jackie. Your name not Jackie. I'm going to go in with Wasted. No, nope. Lies. Dream, the purple that I also used to int intensify it. Put the dream there. Put it on the other side. I know I'm turning my head a little bit too much, y'all. I'm sorry. This is really, actually... When I say I was nervous to come on here and like do a colorful look, I was really nervous. Like I was do taking a picture to tease people on Instagram and my phone was shaking. Like I was like, and I was like, dude, what are you scared for? Um, It's just like, just not believing in yourself or just like, and then I'm going to go in with wasted. It's just the fear that people are going to, I don't know how people are going to accept like, not even accept, but you know how some people look and be like, oh, she's getting into makeup too. Like, what does she know? Like, that's what's always in the back of my head. Like, people are probably judging the heck out of me. But what does it matter? That's what my best friend told me. What does it matter? You're talented. Do it. And I'm doing it. All right, I'm going in with Jealous. This brush is not good, so I'm just going to pick up something else that's a little tighter. This is another Juvia's Palace. I mean, another BH Cosmetic brush. Girl, I know you like the palette, but damn. And I, I don't want the blue everywhere. I'm just putting it literally right here. I'm just dragging it. Is that called, what is that called, your teardrop? What What is this called? Can someone tell me, please, in the comment section? Okay, I know it looks a little messy. We're going to clean our brush. Using the same brush, we're going to pick up Lust. We're going to pick up Lust. We're going to pack it in there. And then what I think I'm going to do is get another brush and blend it out. I'm going to use the brush that I use for the outer corner just to like really blend it so it's not too harsh. And the reason I'm blending it upwards is because we want everything to be seamless. Just because we're using two different corner colors does not mean you want blue, purple. No, you want it to you want that gradient effect. You're welcome. SAT word for the day is gradient. Close your mouth. Honey, do you see this? Do you? All right, so using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to 
brush off this excess powder. I didn't bake, so this technically was me baking while I did this, um, this eye look. I am not going to put on any eyeliner because I really don't think I need any. Yeah, I don't think I need any. Mm. I'm going in with my Better Than Sex Mascara. This is just to prep my eyelashes for the falsies, which are gonna, I'm gonna do that off camera because it's not a pretty sight. I'm just being real. I need to get a new one. It's hurting me. That's how you know I need to really get my stuff together. Like, how are you going to share makeup if you ain't got no makeup? This year has been a struggle. Okay. But I am so happy that this year is almost over. This year has pushed me to really just be like, you know what, F it. I'm going to do what it is that I want to do. Because life is short. For God's sake, I had COVID. I could have passed. Thank you so much, Lord, that I didn't pass. But you know, you have to live while you can. So let me put on my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I have my lashes on. <laughs> it didn't take that long to do it, but it took long. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My eyelashes are super curly. So getting falsies underneath it to like actually go at my lash line is so hard. I compare it to trying to change a toddler diaper. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going in with Lust and Jealous just to cover up any um, glue that may have gotten on my lid. I'm using the same brush that I used earlier, but it's literally just to cover any glue. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it is. I really do try. Like everyone gives me tips and I'm just like, I do all that. It just doesn't work. All right, so I'm gonna finish my face. I'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer. You guys, I know the last time I made a makeup video, I said I was gonna get a different bronzer, but I haven't. It is the CoverGirl <clears throat> Ebony Bronze. <sighs> I'm using what's around in the circle because everything else is gone. Uh, yeah. No shame, I'm not even ashamed. So I'm just warming up my face. And to contour my nose, I'm using my Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Ebony. I don't know why that makes me smile. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Ebony is just like, I'm black. And what I do is I squeeze my brush and I just go up the side of my nose and then I let the fluff come out and I just pull it up towards my eyebrows. I don't do a lot. I am going to go in with one of my favorite blushes in the entire world. This is by NYX in the color Cinnamon. Okay, this blush, you can tell it's new because I ain't even opening it. The other one reached the bottom of the pan and I was like, I need to re-up ASAP. This blush looks so pretty on dark skinned women. Okay, like the camera is washing it out, but it's like an orange, it's like a coral. It's a coral color, it's not a coral pink, but it's like a coral orange. I don't know if they have coral oranges, do they? But if they do, that's what it looked like. I'm using my, this is one of my favorite brushes from the iridescent brushes that I have. This is from BH Cosmetics. I didn't wash the number off, so I don't know. I just like how the head is like tapered. So it makes, it's perfect for like blush. Okay. Usually I put on my highlighter before I put on my blush. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put blush again over this highlighter. This highlighter is from Morphe. It's in the color high, 
No, it's in the color boom. Okay, here it is. Camera washing it out. All is well. We gonna make it do what it do, baby. Ooh. Ew. Ow. Baby. A little bit. All right, so I'm just using that same blush brush. I did not add any more. I'm just using it over where I highlighted just to kill anything because if it was too bright, the blush would take it down a bit. Warm up the rest of my face. So I decided that I'm going to put some... Um, I'm going to intensify my waterline a little bit more. So I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild eyeliner in the color Calling Your Bluff. Ew, okay. I'm calling your bluff. <clears throat> okay. I can't call your bluff because I gotta sharpen it. I'm gonna use my Avon mascara the bottom of my um, lash line because I can't find my YSL one. I'm pressed because it's YSL, okay? I need luxury, <laughs> okay? Look up. I'm going to do pretty much a nude lip. I'm going in with my NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil in the color Espresso. My lipstick of choice for today is by Black Radiance, the Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream in the number 5403. I know it has a name, I can't find it. I have a new one here that I haven't opened yet. There is no name. Oh, it's called Let's Toast. Let's Toast to the Almost New Year. All right, you guys, I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. time to take these braids out but this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I actually enjoyed doing it so much it was not that bad um I did have a moment where I kind of like paused and went into the restroom to see how it looked and the lighting in the restroom is a little different from the lighting here and I kind of was like man this looks terrible but I was like keep going because I've recorded a lot of videos in the past and I haven't like uploaded them because I've always doubted myself or like kind of just overthought everything and I would just delete it and I was just like I'm done partially recording or fully recording and then deleting it just because I feel like it doesn't look right in the process you know like finish the look and who said that? Aaliyah said that. Aaliyah's face said, finish the look, you know? And it's not because mine looks good already. It's just because I was already doubting myself. This hair just does not look good in any direction. You guys, I don't really know how to do lace fronts and wigs and stuff like that. So I'm usually a braids girl. So I'm trying to like make this look as good as the ladies who be rocking their beautiful hair. And But this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. If you have not subscribed already, subscribe.
Turn on the bell notification because I'm I'm here, honey. I'm here. I am here to serve. I'm here to give. I'm here, okay? No more being inconsistent. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be consistent. I'm coming, okay? Anyways, you guys be safe. Enjoy the rest of the year. Happy holidays and see you all in the next video.